Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. So just a quick introduction of myself. My name is Auni Shakira and I'm a first year student in MBBS course in University Sultan Zainal Abidin. I'm still pre-clinical here and I would love to explain this because I think this is an easy topic for me. That's why I'm brief now to explain this. I know some of you might searching this because want to know more about the types and causes of hypoxia. I hope this explanation can help you to understand more about this topic. First, let me take a look at the definition of the hypoxia. It is an oxygen deficiency at the tissue level or the inability of the tissue to use the oxygen. And you need to remember there are four types of hypoxia, including hypoxic, anemic, stagnant, and histotoxic hypoxia. These four points that I insert at the right side is actually to indicate which types of the hypoxia it is. So I'll briefly explain after this. Okay, so for the first type of hypoxia is hypoxic hypoxia. This type of hypoxia happens when there is a reduction of the partial pressure of the oxygen only, but the other things are normal. For example, this boy having a problem where the partial pressure of the oxygen is reduced, but the hemoglobin concentration in this boy is normal, the blood flow to the tissue is normal, and the tissue is able to utilize the oxygen. And now we need to know why is the causes of the partial pressure of the oxygen is reduced. So, these are all the causes where the partial pressure of the oxygen is reduced. First, the partial pressure of the oxygen in the inspired air is reduced. For example, when you wear a mask for a long time, it causes the inhalation of the oxygen is reduced. The second one is the depression of the respiratory center, where when there is a depression of respiratory center, there will be a reduction of the respiration. And the third one is airway obstruction. For example, when there is something stuck in your respiratory tract, the fourth one is weak respiratory muscles. The fifth one, gas exchange failure. And the sixth one is ventilation perfusion imbalance. When there is a change like this, there will be a reduction of the partial pressure of oxygen, thus causing the hypoxic hypoxia. Next is anemic hypoxia. This hypoxia happens when there is a reduction of the hemoglobin concentration in the body only, but the other things are normal. Similar to the name of the type, the causes is anemia, and the second one is the altered hemoglobin in carbon monoxide poisoning, which will affect the hemoglobin concentration. The third one is stagnant hypoxia. This type of hypoxia will occur when there is a reduction of the blood flow to the tissue, but the partial pressure of the oxygen is normal, the hemoglobin concentration is normal, and the tissue is able to utilize the oxygen. And these, and these happen when there is a slowing circulation during shock. For example, hypovolemic shock which happen due to the little blood volume, so the heart cannot pump too much blood to the body and the oxygen delivered to the tissue also will reduce. And the second one is cardiac failure, when there's inadequate oxygen delivery to the tissue. Now we're going to the last type of hypoxia, which is histotoxic hypoxia. This type of hypoxia is happen when the tissue is unable to use the oxygen. This is caused by the poisoning of the toxic agent, such as cyanide poisoning, and hydrogen sulfide, which these two things will affect the tissue to cannot utilize the oxygen. That's why it's called as histotoxic hypoxia. So that's all from me now. I hope everyone clear and get the point after you see my video. If there's any question, please comment down below. And if there's any like of my presentation, please also comment down below so I can improve next time. Give a thumbs up if you like my first trial video. And yeah, thank you for watching.